Sports betting is more than picking a team and laying your money down. In this series, we'll show you what your options are and how to take advantage of them so you can have more fun and make more money. Bracketology 101 March Madness, World Cup Soccer, the World Baseball Classic. These bracket-style tournaments make everyone a better because you don't have to know anything about anything to get in on the action. And in offices across the country, people get in on it, filling out brackets by picking teams based on their logos, the country, or school they play for, or how many cute players they have on their teams. Sometimes that works. And man, it's frustrating when it does. But most of the time, avoiding the bracket-busting choices is about preparation. So, as you get to filling out your bracket, keep these three points in mind. In the NCAA tournament, a number 16 seed has never beaten a number one, and only 6% of number two seeds have ever been knocked out in the first round. So as tempting as it may be to believe in Cinderella, those stories rarely end well. If you're looking for a dark horse, consider a low mid seed going into the tournament on a hot streak. Only twice has a country repeated as World Cup champion, and it hasn't happened since 1962. As for March Madness, since UCLA won seven in a row from 1967 to 1973, only Duke and Florida have gone back to back. If you're looking to the previous year for insights, look for good teams that got upset the year before, like Villanova in 2015 and Spain in 2006. Perfect brackets are like good Nickelback songs. They don't exist. In bracket betting, it's about being less wrong than anyone else. The more entries, the harder it is to win. So don't invest too much. A $10 entry with 100 players is a cool grand in your pocket if you win, but a minor loss if you don't. Save your big bets for head-to-head -head play between you and your preferred sportsbook. Don't have one yet? Find reviews for them all at BeABetterBetter.com.